What is up, Smashworks crew? Man, it is hot today. We are gonna be talking about squats, and you know what, part of me kind of doesn't want to do it because they are, man, they make you, I got a little water on my screen here. Yeah, that's water or sweat. Listen, it is so freaking hot today. It's probably about a buck 10 outside, which means the cool thing is, don't have to eat the pool because the pool is 95 degrees thanks to ambient air temperature, right? So listen, we're gonna be talking about squats today, but more along the lines of fixing low back pain, fixing hip pain, fixing SI joint pain, and fixing your squat position, all wrapped up in one. Because here's the problem, what, what geez, I got my sunglasses on. It's how friggin' hot it is, it makes you crazy. Seriously, it is wicked hot outside. Like, look at this, like, if, you can, if you can see heat, that's what heat looks like. Brutal, awesome, all at once. But I mean, no joke, wicked hot. So when you get into the bottom of a squat, what people have a tendency to do is I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy test to figure out how your squat is. And if your squat looks like this, you fail. So I'll show you how to test yourself real quick and it'll establish kind of where things are going wrong. And then the other thing is I'm gonna show you two really easy drills to fix a lot of squat problems. And if you're getting wicked, wicked low back pain and gnarly SI joint pain and you've tried just about every bro science, YouTube nonsense out there, you've been to 10, 15, 20 different doctors, you know what, kick them to the curb and start doing things on your own and getting things right because when you fix the mechanics of your body, you go out and do all the shit that you like to do. Pardon my language. You can go out and do all the things you like to do without having to worry about waking up either the next day crippled or, you know what, not being able to do them because you're completely crushed. So what's gonna happen is when you drop into a squat, first of all, if you're not squatting, you're not working out, you're not training. So unless there's a physical problem and you can't squat, get in there and start squatting and don't let somebody tell you you can't squat, that squats are bad for you because it's not the truth. But the femur heads, the heads of the, the femoral heads have to kind of torque out a little bit not lots, you don't have to squat toes straight unless you're doing it for mobility, but when you're squatting in a position to actually get under load, torque your feet out a little bit. Because otherwise, not everybody's hip, not everybody's acetabulum, femoral acetabulum is, is, joint is shaped the same. So don't think your squat has to be like the next guy's squat. Just find the place that works for you. Now, if you're squatting like a duck, all bad. There's a mobility problem. Or if you're hinging like crazy at the hip, and that's where you're doing a lot of your drive, and I'll show you what's happening in the test in a second. Then there's a lot of the problem too is in your hip mobility and motor patterning. So we're gonna fix all that stuff, and we're gonna force you to have a nice upright squat position, because the more that load is balanced on top of your center of gravity, you drop straight down, you come all the way out, and you're driving with the glutes, uh, the chance of injury goes down to just about zero, and your squat mechanics get better, you can drive more weight out of the hole, you feel better, you do things better, and you know what, you look at a third world country, no low back problems. You know why? Don't say because they die earlier, but because you know what? It's because they squat everywhere. No joke, it's normal. So when you're not having, when you're having issues with your low back, when you're having issues with ankle mobility, you know what, hell, if you're having headaches, check your squat, because I promise you this, squat is life, it's just that easy. All right, I've been yapping enough. Yeah, I grabbed this. So we're gonna do two things, that's it. One, actually three things, sorry. First is a quick squat test, so here's your test. Check your squat by doing this. If you can see my feet, so when you get in a squat, there's gonna be two ways of checking. So you're gonna stand at the side. If you drop into a squat, okay, and you do this, that's not a squat, and your feet burp, torque out, and you kind of fold forward, your, your torso's all rounded forward, you fail, that's number one. If number two, when you're coming out of the squat, you do this, and then this, that means you're leading with your hips, you're not doing any of the work where it's supposed to be, you're loading up your low back, you fail on both accounts. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to fix all that real quick. It's not instant, but it's pretty damn fast. So the first thing we do is we grab a barbell and a roller. We go just like this to open up the thoracic spine. What happens is a lot of the issues with a squat happen to be thoracic spine mobility issues. So open it up. You wanna get into that thoracic extension, which you guys probably can't get into. So you get a barbell. So am I still in the frame? No, of course not. Why would I have to do that? It's so hot outside. It'll make me move the freaking barbell. Good. Yeah, it's that hot. It's awesome. I'm gonna go back and get my pool. Good, so we reach back, grab the barbell, shoulder width apart, knees bent, hips bent 90 degrees, press the barbell away, let yourself fulcrum all the way over this, and hang on like this for how long? Two minutes. All right, so we're just gonna, you don't have to throw your head through or anything like that. Let gravity do the work. You will find all kinds of restrictions in this position. And if this isn't hurting, you know what? Use a bigger roll. All right, and hang out like this, two minutes. That's it, that's number one. 
oh, I felt good actually, I needed to do that. Number two, we grab the wall ball, which used to be called a med ball. That's a fast fly. All right, we're gonna grab a med ball. Okay, this is a 10. I prefer to use something heavier. I just happened to grab it off the, the rack, almost said rake, and I'm dripping sweat, it's that hot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the med ball, you're gonna do a med ball hug. So you're gonna go toes forward. Yeah, I know, I just said no toes forward. Toes forward on this one, because this is a hold. You're gonna get under it, cross your hands like this, drop into the bottom, hold the med ball up nice and tight. Nice, good squat position. How long do we hang out like this? Two minutes. If not, then 10, because I posted something about a 10 minute squat, just like K-Star. Hang out like this. When you're done, dump it. This is gonna force you to work on turning on those erector spinae properly to help hold yourself in a nice, tight, upright position. Move that bar, but you do the mobility first, then you do the drill. All right, that's it. I'm Trev, Smashworks, fixing squats around the world. I will check you guys out tomorrow. Peace out.